Well, the key factors uh, of coping is that the coping process is a very complex interaction of the individual with his doctors and also with his family members. And the idea of the coping is that it helps the person to um, cope with the distress uh, de dealing with cancer and dealing also with the sequelae of treatment. And we know that uh, coping is uh, um, taking place on various areas, on various levels. You have emotional parts, cognitive parts and also behavioural parts. Pain is primarily in cancer patients a somatic issue, but psychological overlapped. So we help patients to uh, relieve the pain by psychological techniques, for example, relaxation techniques, or also um, focusing their um, alertness to other cues and using diverse techniques of psychotherapy, hypnopsychotherapy and so on. And this is very helpful, but it's an add-on on the pharmaceutical treatment of cancer, uh, of cancer pain. Fatigue is an excellent example because fatigue is always mixed up with a depressive reaction of patients also. So first of all, you have to make very clear a differentiated diagnosis. Is it just somatic? fatigue or it is a part of a depressive reaction and if it's a in most of the cases it's an overlapping between so we try to to um, to give the patient the elder patient an understanding what's happening w due to the treatment and what he can do to fight against this uh, fatigue Well, the elder patients, for them, most of them are not a pr the issue of returning to their working place, but they want to have a, a good quality of life, they want to do their daily activities. And there are a lot of uh, techniques of psychoeducational help to restructure the day, help to pace their activities, help to make priorities, and uh, fatigue is not always the same over the day. So we try to uh, help the patient identify which is the time period when I'm a bit less fatigued. And then I put my activities in that period. And in addition, we help them to, to be um, physically, um, they're doing physical exercises with them, not sport for the elderly, but to get in moving, not sedentary uh, um, lifestyle, but uh, going out, making some walking and so on. And this is proven by research to be very helpful in those fatigue issues. The most important message is to ask, because ask the patients for their distress what type of help they need in addition to medical oncology treatment because elder patients tend to underreport their psychological distress. Although they are suffering from depression or other psychological problems. So the main message, ask your patients how they feel, how their well-being and what you can do to improve their health status.